Olá, eu sou o professor Eduardo Jimenez e este é o canal A Chave da Ciência. Neste vídeo a seguir, apresento a pesquisa e o trabalho de Mike Wilkerson. Hi, my name is Mike Wilkerson. I have a channel called Stellium 7 on YouTube. Uh, a couple of different video series that I've done. One is called Unveiling a Titan, and the other is called Mud Fossils, the Heart of the Matter. And in Mud Fossils, the Heart of the Matter, I lay out a lot of different examples uh, that, that show that what we were taught about the, the nature of rocks is not necessarily true. We were taught that, that things take millions of years to fossilize, but there are different examples that are well established throughout science that show that it's possible that something could fossilize in a very quick amount of time. So one of the discoveries that I've made is that organs can fossilize, and they can do so and maintain very specific anatomical features, this being a heart. And I show on my channel a lot of different examples of these. And I'm here with Howard right now, and we've gone into a river bottom, and in the course of about 15 minutes, we've pulled out some examples of what I show in detail in the videos. And if you look down here, you can see that we have some rocks that have some very striking similarities, and they're not similarities that you would expect to find from rocks just rolling around and eroding in a river bottom. And that's because these are actually fossilized hearts of all kinds of different sizes. And some of them are broken open. You can see that there's the remains of what, a, what appears to be blood. There's a lot of anatomical features that are preserved. You find the same kinds of things repeating themselves over and over again with certain curves. And the tops of the, of the rocks often have openings in them. So we're, we're never taught that rocks have an up or a front. But in the case of a heart, which sits in the chest, There's a definite front and a definite up. And that gives you this shape that looks, ironically, like a harp. So you get a, a curve here and a curve here and a flattened top. And very often you'll have either openings or the remains of openings. And here you can see what were likely the, the pulmonary arteries. So if you look at this one, this is one that I've broken open. You can see how red it is on the inside. And then oftentimes when they're opened up, there will be chambers inside as well. I've gone in with endoscopic cameras and looked at uh, the chambers of a heart in the first video, Mud Fossils, The Heart of the Matter. It's a single rock that has 17 very, very specific anatomical correlations. The aorta, the vena cava, the pulmonary arteries, the coronary artery, they're all there. I've gone, on, I've gone in with a camera, I've shown the chambers inside. Um, It's something that mainstream geology has just missed. And if you want to know more about it, I suggest visiting the channel Stellium 7. And, uh, and you can learn how to, to go out into river bottoms where you live, spot these rocks, because the coincidence list is so long that it's just the odds are astronomical of such a short amount of time that we can find such very specific. 